And now the music goes down because I'm getting further away from her. And her asking me not to leave her. Oh god, not this again. No, no, stop. Stop. Stop, Red. Okay, listen. Lady, I know we're supposed to be, like, you know, siblings almost. But that doesn't mean you can try to kill me. I know, I know, I probably killed you or something, and you probably have some reason, but I don't actually care because I'm kind of selfish. And I'm obviously not oh wanting my. to be next to you, and you just keep following me. It always feels like some crazy world's following me. All the twisty turviness. You're so mean. Maybe. Come to me, my little marshmallow. Come and rescue me. I've been waiting so patiently, but the time is near at hand. I've carved your name in my flesh. The feeling as I peeled back layers of skin and tissue was its own form of ecstasy. I fantasized it was you scratching out my innards. I want you to know how much I love you. I want you to kiss and taste the blood that cometh from what you inflict on me every day. You'll do that for me, right? I want you to feel my intangible love. Simon is dirty. I want you to scrub me clean. So, uh, Ryan? Yeah? What the hell? Simon, he's dirty. Uh, <laughs> he's really into some blood play, some BDSM kind of stuff with tying down and hurting each other. And he wants to hurt me, and he wants hit me to hurt him. It's weird. Um, I'm more of like a lover, not a fight. That's a heart made out of blood. It's a heart made out of blood. Ryan. I'm yeah. getting tired of your crap. I'm getting so tired of your crap right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm a lover, not a fighter. That's what I was trying to say. What? This couldn't be. That's impossible. Is that the girl I met earlier? Is she in a wedding dress? Mm. Hmm. Oh, little marshmallow, of course I knew you were seeing other people. You can't hide these things from me, but you don't have to threat, little marshmallow. I'll make sure no one can come between us. I won't let them. Simon is forever yours. Okay, guy, pal, friend. I hear whimpering. Or heavy breathing, or whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, little marshmallow. I saw you just moments ago. I'm so excited I can hardly hold it in. Please, little marshmallow, please keep going. Please, oh, please, don't stop. Please, oh, little marshmallow. Simon can't hold it in much longer. That sounds extremely, uh, suggestive for my channel. <laughs> oh. What? Jump. You're... Jump? Sure! You actually figured out immediately. Most people are like, I don't know, I'm not gonna jump. Keep on going for however long. I heard it the first time. I was like, wait, what did that say? The second time it actually registered with me what it said. Yeah, yeah. I'll say, speaking about you solving things quickly, you solve that much faster than most people do for some reason. I don't think it's very hard. But, yeah. It was kind of hard to hear the first time, but then I had to pay attention. Dear Valerie, did you think you'd get away with it? Did you think take delight in thinking to yourself, oh, let's try a fast one on dumb old Simon? Did you think you might be out, might have outsmarted Simon? Wait, did the thought of... Did the thought you might have outsmarted Simon excite you? Why did that... Why? Did you perhaps do the dirty and pleasure yourself over that? Ew. 
Oh, Valerie, 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 my dear Valerie. I, of course, knew when you became hesitant to give me kisses, my dear. You were bringing someone between us. You wished to dirty your core, pulsating, yearning, thump, thump. Simon knows. That's why Salmon must punish you, my dear Valerie. You were so delicate, unspoiled. You hurt me, Valerie. You were like a pure, glistening flower. I'll make it so your beauty can shine on, Valerie. I'll get rid of all that which soils you. First will be your eyes. I'll take my thumb and wiggle them around in your sockets. Squish them into mush, a fine paste. I'll lick away the liquids that pour out of your eyeballs like overflowing tears. I wonder what vitreous and aqueous humor tastes like. How do you say that word? Aqueous? Aqueous? I think it's aqueous. Okay. I think you're correct. It's the name of the liquid that's inside your eyeballs. Gross! Isn't that such a funny name for it? May we possibly be in this moment just sit... May we possibly in this moment just sit back and laugh at how silly a name that is? But don't stir too much, dear Valerie, or else the next part may be more painful than it has to be. Of course, it may be me that's trembling. You know how, uh, excitable I am. <laughs> but the pain you may feel from my shakes and quivers is out of my love for you. With each sharp needle of pain and hot, pulsating sore you may feel, that's my love, Valerie. I want you to feel my love. When you can no longer see for which you sinned, then I'll get to work of making sure you can never reach out to sin again. I'm going to dissect your arms, dear Valerie. Do you know how many nerves are in the arm, my dear? I want to open you up, let your inner warmth flow over me, and I want to give you a, th a treat for the senses. I'll be delicate, my dear Valerie, as I begin to poke and pull at your nerves and veins. I want every nerve, every part of your arm to feel the bliss of love before snip, I cut them open one by one. Snip, snip, and then to saw through the bone. Before you know it, your arms will be gone. And that's almost enough. You will have felt the pain with which you've brought upon me, my dear Valerie. But we must scrub away the sin. I think you know where, dear Valerie. You need to stop yearning for him. He's already dead. He won't become... He won't come between us again. At least he won't must have scrubbed you down thoroughly. So you'll never crave for the flesh again, my dear. Yeah, that's where I thought he was going with this. Until then, scream. Scream, dear Valerie. Scream at the wall walls. Claw with your beautiful fingers at dirt and rock. Maybe some will hear you. Maybe you'll find a way I, I, out of that way out I overlooked. Maybe I'm just lying to you. Maybe I didn't kill your perverted little boyfriend either. I'm covering. I'm coming for you, Valerie. Maybe you can still get away. That was long, and oh my god, yeah. that explains a lot about this creepo. He really cares about her, in one way or another. Yeah, Simon, this big old sweetheart. Simon has a lot of feelings. Wants <laughs> to express. Okay, Ryan, what the hell? What the hell was that, Ryan? I have so many questions for you. Oh, dear little Marshmallow, I'm just up ahead. You may want to find me before dear Valerie comes around. She's, as of late, had quite the temper tantrum. That was Valerie? Probably. Ryan? That was yeah. gross. How long did it take to get there? It took eight minutes. Alright. She came closer. I jumped. That answered that question. Alright. So is she just wandering through there and I have to try to dodge her based on sound? Yes. It, is she actually moving around? <laughs> yeah. 
or is she just like the previous one where there's like ten of hers for some reason? There, there's a bit of wandering here. Wait, is she wandering or am I wandering? Does she just have like... Well, you should be wandering. Does she have spots where she just sits or... Well, I'll let you figure it out. I, I know the answer, obviously, but I don't want... That loud that time. Like, it didn't sound like she was getting loud. Well, right? Okay, yeah, I missed it. I was, I didn't see it for some reason. The way out. Try some different pathways, also, because she does. I know I want to explain her behavior. I think it's best if you don't know. in the light. This is safe, right? Yeah. Right. Yay! Wait, what? Really? So it's going the complete opposite way the first time? Well, you could have ended there eventually, but... <laughs> oh, hey, it's the table. Delicious pancakes, just like she used, how she used to make them. Until I left her. Hmm. Blue skies and forest expand beyond the window. It's the first time I've seen daylight in I don't know how long. The window almost looks like a portal into another world. Now let's look around a bit more. At these delicious, delicious pancakes. This is where I used to eat. This feels so nostalgic. Oh, city. Not just eat. This is where I used to eat. But also this is where she sat. Um, to confirm, there's nothing else to do in this room. Oh, so I have to investigate a few things. I saw it. Okay, I've been oriented, like, interacted with that all. It's not, you don't need to, like, do a whole pack yeah, down of this place. <laughs> some people do that. Yeah, yeah. And it really ticks me off when that happens. I'm not that unfair. <laughs> because I, like, walk around and I'll just miss some, like, kind of text or something because. There's no hint. Maybe if I... Huh, how peculiar. There's absolutely nothing behind this window. It's almost like magic. Was that the thing I had, in, I had to look at? Yeah, well, I mean, not only you had to look at it, so there's things to look at. and so you needed to. You could just go through the window. Yeah, I'm just you curious. Had, you examined everything. I could tell okay, you. that's what I was wondering. <laughs> because I like looking at things, like, in the game. I understand. Okay, here it goes. Huh, strange. Upon further inspection, this appears to be a painting of the outside. It looks so real, though. What? Did that just get roadrunnered? Hi, beautiful. What? Uh, uh, mm. little marshmallow, I'm here.
I'm coming in, little marshmallow. You finally come to see me, save me, my love. You and I will always be together, little marshmallow. What? Back here? Oh no. Don't tell me where your first save file. Can I just say what the last one? There were no other I, endings in there? I, you, you could, but I would... Yeah, actually, no. Uh, yeah, save there. That'll be good. Cool. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. The lock is in the shape of the analyst. The door is locked. Well, this has been interesting. Are you ready to enter? Maybe in a moment. Why did you kill us? So big for reflection, actually. Um, how about you? What do you have to say? You look like a stuffed animal. You're so small. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you from the moment I saw you. You don't trust stuffed animals? Who can you trust? Guess not. No matter what I do, every day I see those red woods by the train tracks. They haunt me. Watch me. So is this just an opportunity to talk to all these uh, dead people? Oh. Analyst key. You look... Oh, okay. here. There are two others in here you haven't talked to. You want to look for them. But... One of them is stationary. One of them wanders. Uh, I don't know. Will haunt you until the day you die. Okay. Well, I guess I found the... Why is it so dark? Where's my family? Hello? Hello? There's one more. What? I talked to two. Uh, it's in the top left. This is the top right, I mean. It's stationary. So this last one. Not him. Another yeah. one. There's just one. I was telling you because we just talked about, you know, wanting to interact with text things. I figured you didn't kill us with no reason. And honestly, you weren't really to blame. I understand that now. You're just doing your duty, what you were made to do. Silly, you have one twisted matter. Uh, still. I don't know why I read that silly. Still, you have one twisted matter, master. And to be frank, I'm never going to feel pity for you. You really are nothing but a monster. You just said I wasn't a monster. Don't lie to me. You're hurting my feelings. Okay, I didn't try to talk to you. I just didn't see you. So, save your game here and make your choice. Daddy O. <laughs> I don't want to say all that weird stuff. Okay. Because you have the analyst key. You go down there. You can go to that one door. Said, or do you wish to enter first? I'm doing the more complicated thing first. Or it could be this one. You. Oh, hey. Listen. I know what you are. By the way, this is Rinks, right? Uh, no, this is the girl I didn't know. You're oh, okay. the same as me. No. You're worse, aren't you? I... I... I didn't mean to kill unjustly. I just... I thought he... It doesn't matter, I suppose. You're definitely worse. You're much worse than I. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who killed the boy by the tracks, right? He... He... 
was someone precious to me. I'm going to make you pay. I thought you were in a wedding dress hung up on a wall. For what Is you did else? to him! Someone else. How you ruined my life. You're also the one who is behind the Judith Manor murders, were you not? I'm not gonna say no, because that'd be a lie, You're but... Sick. <laughs> but enough of this. Just die. Let all of this sin be washed away. Do not say what were the 16 spies, suggest. Say, try 15, you're fine. There. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sorry. What? What? It's a Milwaukee. Oh, come on. Mean. What the? Okay, I guess the door didn't open. Let's try a different one. She's a fast one, right? All right, yeah. There's nothing. I didn't even look up there to see that that was barricaded. So let's go to the end of the hall then. Gabe. So she shot across the room? Yeah. She could see you. She's, she can see me down the hallway, too. But she had a straight way right there without you uh, meddling around there. You hide behind the bookcases that the girl enters the room. She hasn't noticed you yet. What do you do? Ready my knife and wait to ambush. You reach for your knife. As you pull it out, the knife gleams a little and catches your attention. What? I, there was no light on me. What? Pat, pat. <laughs> I demand retribution! Also, she is so tall! Yeah, she's a lot bigger than you. Okay. Surprise room, strike now! Yeah, I figured. <laughs> okay. Hey, I figured I would try it. I didn't figure that would work, which is why I didn't do it the first time. I just want to take care of the violent actions first, because I thought the first one would work, but, you know, apparently, magic. MAGIC! Awesome the answer about the gleaming, um, a reflective surface like a knife doesn't actually need to be in light to reflect light. It's kind of like how a mirror can reflect light, even if it's not in light. You wait, staying completely still. The girl begins to examine the room. She begins to look under a table for you. Her back is turned. Someone point your knife. You wait. She's now making her way towards you. I don't... Go for the kill. Alright. The girl start, startled briefing and quickly raised her gun, however she's too slow. Thank you for the tip.
Yeah. She slumps over. <laughs> I guess this was always gonna happen, huh? Well, there are the like five times you killed me, but those those are non-canon. Maybe I had this coming. Oh yeah. You no really one tries to kill me. Monster. I just finished playing Undertale, and that's not an insult. <laughs> but. You know, I always imagined the person who'd killed him to be more... Tall? Black sludge forming out the eyes. Sharp teeth. <coughs> Maybe it's for the best... That I'm adorable? ...and this everlasting dream. I'm confused, but alright. <laughs> All right. Please. Now, here's my recommendation. Get that uh, item that's below you right now, and then go back to the save point you were at earlier and save over your 15th, 9th, or 16th slot, and then choose whatever you want to do right then. Yay! So then, I recommend go and save over the 15th slot that you did previously, but keep the 16th one. For when I go to the other area. Yep. I am giving you them pro tips! Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Ryan. Okay, so do I head up to where Simon is then? I say go through the door that was inside that room first of all. Okay. Back in the room where he picked yeah, up the gun, there I, was a door I there. I saw that. I so. just wasn't sure if it was interactable. Yeah, yeah. These environments are... It magically appeared when the scene was done. Oh, well, I couldn't really pay attention to that. I was too worried about, you know... It's okay. Running away from Pat, Pat, it's all right. Just know it wasn't there before. <laughs> this wasn't here, but... You know, I wonder how I would be able to tell that. <laughs> Right. I had a lot of questions, not a whole lot of answers. Ever since I escaped from death row, something's been wrong. I'm not sure if with me or the world. I wasn't sure what was real and what wasn't, but at least now I knew one thing. I was a murderer. This much had been made very clear, but now before me sat a person who asked me to kill her. As odd as it might sound, I felt strangely nostalgic. Many questions ran through my head. But I guess that doesn't matter. I don't need answers. I just need to do what I was made to do. What am I? Uh... I'm gonna follow the, the narrator's thing and say, like, uh... There was only one answer in the end. I'm a murderer. In the end, I can't change what I've done. I can't change what I am. Maybe in this case, I'll be able to help someone put... Help put someone out of their misery, at least. No hard feelings to you, young lady. Okay, I need to... There we go. I hope if there's an afterlife, it treats you kindly, despite what you did. Good night. She looks peaceful. Well, that means there's one more victim left now. Then my job is done. Mama, I just killed a man. I don't know if it's right or wrong, truth or lies, deception or reality, but I know one thing. This noose is real and it's going around my neck.
in my last moments of consciousness, I remember her smiling face, and I realized then how much I wish I could have spent more time with her. I miss you. Goodbye. How did I even get up there? It starts with an itch and a tingle, and then it builds and expands. And we got and another ending. Yeah. yeah. So we've got two endings thus far. Yeah, if you want to skip the credits by pressing F12 to reset, I can tell you what number and name it was. Okay. What number and name was it? Uh, we can wait till the last. That was ending number two out of eight, and the name was Everyone Dies. Ah! Huh. That was pleasant. Now, if I go back to file 15... Let's go 16 first, because that was the easy to get ending. Just, you know, order of things. Then I'll let you choose whatever you want to do from okay. there. Then let's do it. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> also get the save file kind of out of the way, so... Are you ready to enter? It starts with an itch and a tingle And then it builds and expands And suddenly all at once My legs won't let me stand I scratch till my fingers go numb, but my skin never bleeds. A silent accomplice waits and feeds when I'm asleep. There's something that lives inside me. I promise I never. Yeah. 